It's digging pirates. Guys, it's really early. The wife is still sleeping, but look. We've got the car packed. It's Labor Day, and we're gonna take a road trip down south. I've got coffee brewing, so we're gonna go wake her up. Hopefully she's in a good mood, because today we're finding treasure. Time to wake up, little pirate. Are we going treasure hunting? Treasure. Protect the chest, little one. All right, the missus has breakfast, coffee. We're packed to the brim. Toys. Ooh, what's in there? More toys. Beach stuff. Let's go digging. We made it. There's treasure out there. So today, I'm thinking we're gonna do more of a cinematic type of hunt. All right, let's get digging. Well, Pirates, we are back from the hunt, and unfortunately, that awesome ring that uh, we found, it looked great in the scoop, but now that we've got it back home, cleaned up, I think it's plated. So check it out. So here it is, the ring in question. I mean, this thing looked awesome in the scoop. I really thought we had a nice keeper here. But as you can see, when you flip it over, look at the back to where the face of the ring is and you can see see that discoloration right there how it goes from a nice buttery gold to right here it's definitely tarnishing now I know sometimes 10 karat gold will do that when it's been in the water for quite a while um, unfortunately this doesn't seem to be the case with this ring uh, there is a marking on the inside uh, we don't have the macro lens on here, but you might be able to see the marking right here. And what it says is it says 14K. And again, it almost looks like where the marking is. It's not a nice crisp gold. It's actually 
almost a little bit rusty so that's definitely leading me to believe that this ring is unfortunately plated nice little ring I was really excited to see that in the scoop uh, but uh, I just I'm not a believer guys unfortunately but aside from the ring we did find a couple of other nice little trinkets we got this feather pendant here it's not marked sterling or anything like that just a typical costume jewelry piece speaking of costume jewelry got a little stretch bracelet it's got a little crown on it maybe a little Lord of the Rings Game of Thrones type of crown I don't know handful of change probably just over a dollar maybe a dollar fifty or so uh, got this awesome Hot Wheels car love that definitely a keeper this stuff throws you for a loop it's basically like aluminum slag I don't know if it comes from like the power plant that uh, we have just down from that beach but this will drive you crazy because it sounds so good and even the small pieces they will sound like nice silver rings <laughs> it just drives me crazy a little bit of beach glass and then we found these two stones in the scoop as well now these are pretty interesting I kept these uh, if you can guess why they have these perfect little holes drilled into them now I don't know if somebody was uh, trying to make like jewelry pieces I don't know if these are Native American or if this is just nature being nature but the hole in this just looked too perfect almost like it was work so I figured why not bring these back let me know what you guys think have you ever seen racks like this uh, anybody that is familiar with Native American artifacts and then also let me know what you think of the ring plated or not I mean the band here looks really nice the backside unfortunately not so much you can definitely see the contrast in this shot love to hear you guys' thoughts in either way we had a fantastic Labor Day out there hopefully you guys got out there swinging the water's still warm enough where you can go out there without a wetsuit but it's getting tough um, we'll see how long it lasts hopefully a few more warm days but the nights are starting to get chilly so whether it's fake or real keep swinging for the ring whoa 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 guys that's not the end of the video I totally forgot about these things right here my wife actually already stole them I thought they were just another pair of lost sunglasses didn't realize exactly what I had when I dug these up I thought they were just another pair of you know cheap plastic sunglasses turns out when I looked inside uh, the frame here I was like what is Versace and then I realized that it said made in Italy and it's Versace now if you guys know anything about brands or sunglasses specifically here uh, Versace is somewhat of a high-end designer company so these sunglasses right here turns out we looked them up used on eBay sold listings anywhere from 60 to 90 dollars if they're brand new 125 upwards of 170 and in stores could be as high as 190 almost 200 dollars just for these sunglasses so even though that gold ring which I'm pretty sure is still fake unfortunately these nice little golden sunglasses that's the ticket that we were hoping for like I said though I think my wife is already gonna steal them but hey that's all right okay now to the end of the video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.